Hey, hi everyone. Uh, this video is about how to make a bookmark. So this slide shows what are the common bookmark sizes. Uh, they are usually 2 inch by 6 inch, 2 by 7, 2 by 9 and 3 inch by 7 inches. Okay, so those are the standard bookmark sizes. So in this video, I'm going to show how you can uh, create design like this. Okay, and then um, once we design this one, then I will run small video and then that video show how you can make the actual bookmark. Okay, so here I am going to draw the same design in the in this demo slide here. Okay, so let's start. So first thing I go click on the home here and then here I will pick the size, uh, this rectangle here. So then I can uh, draw this rectangle here. Okay, uh, I can change the properties here. So shape fill I will keep for now, no fill the shape outline i will make some uh, six point here uh, you can pick any other size let's say if i want to make more li line more thicker i can put here like eight point so here i will put the eight point here okay so that make that uh, border thick now to determine the size i will click on the view here and then i will enable the ruler and grid lines Okay, so now I can see what is my dimension of this uh, rectangle. So here I need the, I'm going to make the 2 by 7 inch. So I can see here, this is 0 here and this is 2. So I will make 0 by 2 here. And then here is a 4 and then here is a 3. So I can reduce a little bit here. Okay, so this will be my 2 by 7. Let me put in the middle. Okay, so this is the one, this will be our front side. And then I can copy, uh, let's see, go back home. And then I need the border to be black. So shape outline, I will create the black here. Now you just right click, copy, and then paste. Okay, so this will be the black of uh, back side of the bookmark. Okay, so now to insert some design, you click on the insert here, and then click on the clip art. And here look for the roses here. So you can just type roses and uh, it will show you a bunch of images uh, pick one that you like so let's say here um, okay so let's say uh, in my uh, earlier demo i was using this image so you just click on this one and it will drop the rows on your on your screen here then you can resize it and then you can rotate it as well so let's say i want to rotate like this on the front side here then I can click again, it will drop the another image and this time I can uh, rotate something like this. Okay, so I can just uh, put these two images. Next thing you want to get the quote. Uh, since I already have the quote available, I will just this uh, what lovely thing a rose is. So just copy this one and then I will put here. Now you can uh, rotate or you can change the the size, format, all those things with the font as well. So let me show you how you can do that. Okay, yeah, and this thing first here. Okay. So now here you can you can select this font. Uh, if you want to, let's say if I want to start from scratch, you can go here, insert, and then here you can say word art. Okay. So in the word art the uh, few options available let's say I am picking this here okay so then here is uh, your text here and then here I can just uh, this will be a little bit big let's select reduce the font size to uh, let's say around let me highlight all of them and uh, select the size to be uh, let's see I think that should be enough okay and then here you can just type what a lovely thing a rose is okay and then you can just uh, do like that if you like to enter another code you can do as well okay so that's how you can enter the code from scratch okay so let me remove this one now okay so that is the front side is already completed now here another trick you can do uh, right click on this image and send it back Okay, so what it does that it will send the um, hide the it will send the image back of this rectangle here. 
Okay, so that's the okay. So let's say now um, when this part is completed, I want to fill something is is very plain inside white. So you can go here, select your rectangle, and then okay, you say shape fill. And here you have couple option like you can put the gradient, so it will uh, put something like this, or you can put the texture. So let's say there is a I can put this kind of texture here. In earlier demo, I am using this, so I will leave this one. And I believe the image is all the way back now, so I can try to bring it front. Let's see, uh, I can move this rectangle a bit. Okay, cut. And then put this uh, rectangle back. And then I can paste it back. So now my rose is back here. Okay. And you can rotate it to go a little bit down here. Okay. So I think that's how you complete the first uh, front side of your bookmark. Okay. So that part is completed. Next thing uh, you want to complete the back side. So I already have the image here. So I will let me fill the shape first. So here I this time I'm going to use the in the shape fill. I will use a gradient. Okay, uh, let's see uh, which option is available. You can pick any any one that you like. Uh, I'm going to go with this uh, linear down. You know, center will be better. So okay, I pick that gradient now. And since already this image I obtained from the Google so you can search from Google and then you can pick any image that you like okay so now I just paste here so that rose will go here and I can rotate a little bit okay next thing uh, oops not the okay so here I already have the code available so I will select that code and put in my on the right hand side I just drag it back here okay so that will be your uh, back side you can put any side the front or back doesn't matter okay so that's how you create the design and uh, next thing I will sh run short video here it will show you how you can um, make bookmark out of this one so let me resize here let me run this video Okay, so now this one is complete. Uh, this tassel is not that good, but you can get some good one. So I'm cutting the shape here. So cut the front side. Then same way, let me just fast forward a little bit. You are, I'm cutting the back side. Then you take any thick paper here, then you glue on the front and back so green paper will be in the middle you glue this back and this uh, front to this green so that's what i'm doing here i'm cutting the green shape applying some glue okay and then i'm sticking the the design that we created okay now i'm applying the back side here same paper Okay, so once that part is done, uh, you make a, okay, now you trim the edges. So it has a little green part was showing here. I'm just removing those edges here. So once you trim the edges, okay, then you make a hole with the punch hole. Okay, and then once that hole is available, you just attach the tether. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, you can now use it. Is ready to go now. So this is how it looked like. Okay, so let me stop this video now. Okay, so I think that's pretty much this is the end of this video. Um, this is the last slide. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Okay, bye.